Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. And if you want to learn Vedic Astrology step by step, join my three hours free training, you know, which will help you to get started into Vedic Astrology and which will help you um, make predictions even if you have no prior background to Vedic Astrology without spending a single rupee. Okay, so check out the link into the description section and start learning Vedic Astrology. See you in the training. Let's talk about the Kritika Nakshatra. The Kritika Nakshatra ranges from 26 degrees 40 minutes of Aries to the 10th degree of Taurus. So it is it is spread between the two Rashis, the last few degrees, last, last three degrees 20 minutes of Aries and the 10 degrees of the Taurus. It has four Padas. The first Pada of Kritika Nakshatra goes into the Sagittarius Navamsha. Second goes into the Taurus sign and uh, Capricorn Pada, Capricorn Navamsha. Then it, the third Pada is Aquarius Pada and the fourth one is the Pisces Pada. The symbolism associated with Kritika Nakshatra is razor blade or you know the fire. Kritika Nakshatra is all about cuts and fire. So anytime you see any kind of a cut blade or you know uh, cutting razor, anything which cuts, you can associate it with the Kritika and what it is cutting okay, is an important thing. Ties or the knots of this body from this universe. Like it is helping you to get into the other world. It is cutting the knots. Let's talk about the deity associated with this nakshatra. The deity associated with this nakshatra is fire and another deity associated with this is the Kartikeya. You might find some resemblance between the name Kartikeya and Lord Kartikeya and the Kritika nakshatra, the word Kritika, right? So Kartikeya, if you know the story of Kartikeya, Kartikeya is the Shiva's son, okay? And there is a story that Devas have lost almost all their territories to demons and they wanted Shiva to intervene and, you know, kill those Asuras and bro bring back that uh, territory to gods to establish the goodness in the universe. But Shiva refused to intervene. But he promised that he will produce a son and that son will take care of all these problems. And that's how Kartikeya was born. There are different mythological stories around the birth of Kartikeya. Okay? But it was Shiva's son. And he then killed all the Asuras and brought back all that territories which uh, the devas have lost to the demons or to the asuras okay so kritika nakshatra has lot to do or is directly associated with the lord kartikeya peacock was the animal of kartikeya he used to ride on peacock so you can associate peacock with uh, kritika nakshatras as well and when i say say uh, associated just observe the qualities of those animal and then try to understand the nakshatra okay whenever i study nakshatra i try to feel it okay if you are logical it would be difficult for you to understand nakshatras because there is nothing much written about it it's about the feelings okay if you have a well developed lunar side to your personality you would be able to study nakshatras better okay so when you are trying to feel the nakshatra always give importance to deity and the story okay the story of the nakshatra the purana puranic or mythological mythological story associated with that nakshatra will give you a hint about what this nakshatra is all about okay so the, so study the nakshatra study the story of kartikeya now when we are observing the story of kartikeya you will observe one thing that he was a warrior Okay, he he was uh, he was responsible for getting that territory back to the devas. So he did that on the orders of Shiva. Okay, so it also shows how he was fostered or you know uh, taken care of by the Saptarshis or the wives of the Saptarshis. It also shows the caring nature of the Kritika Nakshatra. Okay, Kritika Nakshatra is uh, difficult to understand because it has both the qualities, qualities of fierce aggression, 
with fire and cutting blade razors etc but at the same time it also has some nurturing qualities okay don't compare it with something like uh, punarvasu pusha or any uh, any other kind of a uh, uh, nurturing uh, nakshatra but this is the nakshatra which also uh, is associated with taking care another symbolism associated with the uh, kritika nakshatra is fire okay fire there are various um, ways of fire there are various types of fire right there are different types of yagyas as well but agni is the first deity in the vedas okay apart from the you know all other deities of wind and uh, the water all kinds of deities agni is the first deity which is mentioned in the vedas agni has the ability to convey the messages to the gods that's why agni is used in yagnas and we chant the mantras and activate those deities okay so agni is extremely powerful but it burns you okay it burns you and when it burns you it purifies you the purification process can also be seen with the kritika and the fire okay this is how you look at the nakshatra and try to feel the nakshatra okay another thing about kritika nakshatra is you know this this is one kind of a purification of the uh, like fire as a purifier then we also have one fire in our body which helps us to digest food which is jataragni right so there are different kinds of agni okay agni is a vast concept okay is a deity but the agni associated with the kritika is the agni devata okay and which is uh, closely associated with indra and have uh, you will you will listen to you will get to know a lot of stories from the vedas around these two deities around agni and indra and varuna and uh vayu devata okay so agni is one of the primary element of universal universal creation as well okay so yes agni is super powerful and uh, great purifier and is associated with kritika nakshatra let's talk about the mars mars is the planet which is about your energy okay is about your siblings is about your uh, competitive spirit your ethics your strength and um, your ability to fight for things stand for things can be seen with mars mars is also associated with the land and buildings okay and then the name mangal literally means good okay and uh, the planet mars is also associated with the uh, lord ganesha okay who is lord ganesha he is the brother of kartikeya kritika nakshatra is dasha ruled by sun which is again signifying the light but more so a fiery planet makes sense now that is also dasha ruling okay dasha ruler is not as important as the deity but yes it has some impact on uh, the mahadasha okay dasha ruler is let's say you are kritika nakshatra you have moon in kritika nakshatra your dasha sequence will start with sun okay once your dasha sequence has started with the sun then you go with the sequence okay the sequence won't change but your sequence of dashas will start with sun if that makes sense to you and if you want to know more about dashas i have already made a video on dasha you can go and check out that video as well so now what happens when you have mars coming into the nakshatra of kritika the planet of energy comes into the nakshatra which is about cutting or you know um, about blades and razors okay <laughs> so these people have ability to fight mars in kritika nakshatra are the greatest warriors are the greatest fighters okay they can also be great cook because in cooking also you need to cut you need the you know all kinds of uh, things to cut the food and that can also be seen with kritika okay but the uh, kritika in Aries is different than Kritika in Taurus. We'll talk about that when we will talk about the Padas. But Mars in Kritika Nakshatra represents one who is a fighter, a warrior, and a person who will stand for his rights and will fight. Planet of strength, 
comes into the nakshatra which is about the nurturing you won't believe that no matter how aggressive the kritika nakshatra is it is all about taking care is all about nurturing and fostering okay so when a planet like mars who is a guiding planet who is a guarding planet comes in here makes these people protective of their families these people always tend to protect their family like we all do but these people have aggression to go to any extent to you know save their family just like kartikeya went on to you know fight with the asuras to bring back the territory of devas just for the sake of shiva this is because lord shiva requested him ordered him to you know uh, intervene and bring back these territories for the devas okay so for the sake of family he went and fight back that's the greatest um, characteristics of kritika kritika nakshatra is all about purification as well so when a when a planet like mars comes in it shows greater abilities towards the self purification so these people are disciplined to go through the rituals or do certain kind of regime to get better to get better health to you know evolve spiritually so in any spiritual practice to do any kind of spiritual practice consistently this mars will help you okay these people are convinced to get the you know to have that purification and now that is backed by the willingness and strength of the mars okay now let's talk about the downside to this uh, placement okay when a planet of aggression comes into the nakshatra which is all about you know cuts fire um razors it's all you know aggressive so it becomes it becomes an issue for these natives like they cannot Uh, manage their anger so anger becomes a um, challenging trait for a person with kritika nakshatra they have to really guard if you have mars into the uh, kritika nakshatra or you, if you have um, let's say you have mars placed into the kritika nakshatra or it is conjunct with rahu then this anger issue would get amplify even more that's what i was talking about when i was talking about the you know the difference between the mars kritika in um aries versus in taurus taurus is more like a, a stable energy but this aries is an aggressive energy already because of the kritika nakshatra and the impact of the sign of aries so these people have to guard against anger they have to take you know they have to really think about uh taking any action think before taking out any action they have to avoid the rash decisions they have to avoid the aggression okay then they can be uh, then they can use then they can use this energy to uh direct it on to some better projects to get better things done because they have abundant energy they just need to work on it and not waste it on anger okay when mars goes into the taurus sign taurus pada it is more stable now these people stand for their families because now it is into the fixed sign now the energy of mars is in the fixed sign of taurus which is about families in the kritika nakshatras He, they are doing like they would stand for their families okay it's given like they would really go to any extent to be with their families because of the taurus impact so this is much more stable energy than what we will experience in the aries okay even if it is associated with rahu or any other planet but the 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 background or the atmosphere of taurus is much more stable for uh taurus for uh kritika than uh, aries one okay so yes mars in taurus is much stable and uh, well directed than the aries one so we have four padas in 
Kritika Nakshatra. The first pada of Kritika Nakshatra goes into the Sagittarius sign, and now this is again a fiery sign. Okay, so it becomes the ultimate fire. Aries sign, rule, Dasha ruled by Sun, Kritika Nakshatra, Mars is fire, and again it is going into the Sagittarius, which is again a fire sign. So aggression is at the peak. Okay, but due to the Sagittarius impact, I would still feel this is the Nakshatra which would give you good results because it is also a Pushkar Navamsha. Okay, there are two Pushkar Navamshas in Kritika Nakshatra. First is this Pada, the first Pada of the Kritika Nakshatra, which is Sagittarius Navamsha, is a Pushkar Navamsha. Pushkar Navamsha is the Navamsha which is the most potent Navamsha and which really gives you the best of that Nakshatra um, through those degrees. Okay, so yes, the first Pada is the Pushkar Navamsha. The second Pada of the uh, Kritika Nakshatra goes into the Capricorn Navamsha. Here, Mars gets exalted and is at its best. Okay, so now here Mars feels at home. Being into the side of Capricorn, he can operate on its higher planes. He can uh, he can be himself here, and you know. But the Capricorn sign is the sign which is more about the material gains. Okay, Sagittarius is more like a spiritual thing, is more like a ninth house and you know higher belief thing. But the Capricorn is more practical. These people are direct, practical, and they are ready to work hard to achieve or to get ahead in life. Okay, now the third pada of this nakshatra goes into the Aquarius Navamsha, which is, you know, uh, which is not a great, great pada for Mars. Mars in Aquarius, you know, loses its energy. And feels like you know, for Aqua Aquarius is a in a way um, a very satisfied sign, so it let it go. Okay, so he is not obsessed or bothered about things, but he understands that even if I get what I want, it's just the same. So I don't, I'm not ambitious. I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not uh, looking for something more. Okay, so he let it go. That's what the sign of Aquarius is, but it is an intelligent sign. Okay, so we uh, the third pada is more on the intellectual side. All the energies would be directed towards the inte intellectual side of the Kritika. Okay, now the fourth pada, fourth pada of the Kritika Nakshatra goes into the Pisces Navamsha. Now this is a Pushkar Navamsha again. Okay, Mars in Pisces hides their emotions okay Pisces is like water and Mars is the fire so they have the fire but they don't show up they hide their emotions especially in relationships they don't show their true self to their partner they don't show the passion to their partner partner they the partner think that they're uh, these people uh, with uh, Mars in Pisces are boring people they don't have the drive they don't have the fire right so yes, uh, but uh, again, being Pushkar Navamsha, it allows that uh, Pisces to direct this Mars into a better path. Okay, would guide them into the better path. And again, this is the last Pada and the last Navamsha. Okay, so this this is the end of one cycle again here. So yes, this was Mars into the Nakshatra of Kritika. As much as I could hold grasp and share with you guys. If you want to know more about it, watch these two videos on your screen, sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibes. See you in the next videos. Love and peace.